So in this problem, we're going to look at Earth and uh, characteristics of what is contained in the star. So we have the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. The Sun is over here, it's huge. And we know that the Earth is really tiny here. This radius is. 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. And you know, you hear about the orbit being a little elliptical. The truth is that it's very, very close to the circle. So, you know, seasons like winter and summer, they do not occur because of well, the orbit being elliptical. It's because of Respect to the sun, between the radius. Goes just like this. That's the radius. And for this problem, we have to find the velocity. So, linear tangential velocity, the angular velocity, and the centripetal acceleration. And of course, and these quantities you need at time. So time is going to be 360. So first let's get the time. One you know here is I is um, 15 seconds. So you have 365. One year. One um, two days over here, so or hours. One days and hours. One day, twenty four hours. Down here, one hour, thirty six hundred seconds. Okay, so days go away, hours go away, we have seconds here. It's going to be Point uh, fifteen times ten to the seven seconds one step. So let's try this one seconds. So, what is the tangential velocity? Well, the radius or the circumference is going to be the total distance. Total distance to pi times the radius. And the velocity is just distance divided by so two pi times radius divided by the time okay. That is equal to over here uh, nine four and 
and sent it to the Bethany University. Divided by 2.8 times 10 to the 7 seconds. Can you over here? is equal to 2.99 times 30,000. This is three times 10 to the third. The units with meters per second. So actually, get rid of here. So the Earth is moving around the sun really fast. Okay. Okay, and then we get the uh, angular velocity. So for the angular velocity. Doesn't matter how big the radius is, the, the number of radians in a circle, you know, going around the circle, is 2 pi always. So, the angular velocity is going to be 2 pi radians. Divided by the time, three point eight is ten to the seven. Sorry, ten times ten to the seven seconds. So it's equal to six point eight divided by three point fifteen. Ten to the seven seconds. And that is uh, one point nine nine. So let's call it two times ten to the negative seven uh, radians per second. Or more appropriately, because the radius is less, just uh, inverse seconds. So we can put it over here. And the angular velocity, so the angle, the, the rate of change of the angle. Respect to the time, it's pretty tiny. It does take one whole year to go around one cycle. So, and you know, it's really small. And then the centripetal acceleration, which is the last quantity, just now. Know that the centripetal acceleration is given by the speed squared divided by the radius. We got the speed before, and radius was given. So we can calculate this quantity. So, the centripetal acceleration is going to be 9 times 10 to the 8. So, we're squaring this quantity. Here squared divided by second squared. 
and that is divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 7 meters. And so the centripetal acceleration is 6. 0 0.006, so 6 times 10 to negative 3 meters per second squared. So this quantity is interesting. Because this is the acceleration due to the sun. And so the acceleration, um, the gravitational acceleration of the mass of the Earth, you know, that is 9.8 meters per second squared. The sun is pretty huge, but it's also really far away. So this is the acceleration that the Earth, and consequently you, because you are on the Earth, that you feel due to the sun. So, you know, pretty, pretty tiny, but you know, with the mass of the sun and the mass of the earth, forces the earth to go uh, around. So, uh, I think it's a pretty powerful. I like that. 